Welcome back to Railroads Online. We're here at the refinery at the uh, the end of the sequence. Um, we're going to pick up oil barrels and put them in these uh, cooler cars. And we're also going on the way home because of the imbalance between uh, pipes and tools. We're going to also pick up a box car full of tools as we head back to the freight depot to sell everything. So uh, yeah, let's uh, start unloading and. Um, and get these things on the road. Okay. There it goes. So the um, 46 and uh, there was 50, 54. So it's eight. I'm going to stop it at about ten, at about number ten. I'm going to get this one started, and then uh, I'll start the other one with enough time for me to kind of deal with both. That's probably enough time. It's down on the mouse pad or mouse wheel. No, down. Striking, uh, swiping downwards on the mouse is what, is what I'm looking for. So. Uh, It'll take a while. Yeah, it's important not to have a big gap um, here. It's easy to lose oil barrels in this situation. So you end up with double rows, and then the top row is a single row. So I'm going to cap it off when this, the top row starts being um, loaded. So much audio here to hear, but it's fun to watch. I've set most of the points correct on the way home, so it should be a pretty easy ride. Uh, we will have to do some shunting in the ironworks looking at the map quickly in the ironworks on that left hand side um, the train that goes between the ironworks and the oil fields is taking up the platform where the boxcar needs to go so we'll um, as we arrive there we'll have to um, do something about that then that will do yeah, that will do for now and that second row gets built up So we're about one, two, three, four short on that one. Now I do roughly do it for that one, I think. How many did we put on that one? Five. We'll put five on this one as well. Okay. So we have uh, 43 on that one. And 43 on that one. So you have like one, two, three gaps for. 86, fair few. Uh, the boxcar takes 42 tools, so that's kind of roughly the same ratio. Make sure we have some lumber or uh, firewood in the fire. I did just fill this up so it won't need too many. Let's. Uh, Let's head off. Um, I'm going to turn down the volume of the train now. Uh, it's not overly noisy now, but um, as we get going it will be. So we won't be able to hear the sounds of the refinery for a while. Slowly pulling around. We're going to head off towards the south and then loop into the ironworks.
quick look at the map. Yeah, we're going to head off south. And then, uh, yeah. Not too far to go. Get out of. Try to get away from that bell. I can find it. Still looking at the bell. Still looking at the bell. <clears throat> and down the hill. We're going to go uh, between this little gap in here, and then the oil field is behind it. 20% downhill, nothing too much to worry about. See the refinery the distance now, to come off that plateau there. Mogul's a good engine for this. It's pretty fast, plenty of power. Train's not that big, so. Yeah, it's a good choice. Plenty of water and firewood capacity. This is that cutting I was talking about. I'm going to uh, park short of the uh, ironworks and we'll uh, get that train out of the way. So we can fill the boxcar up. If I wasn't going to take the boxcar back, I could have peeled up to the right here, avoided the ironworks, and then gone straight up the main line. But because I'm going to fill the boxcar up, uh, we'll go to the left here. Uh, the light would stop. This points are set to go in, to go in, so I'm just gonna hug this other train close. And that way, it doesn't matter where I stop really. We need to get to this platform here. I'm just, just gonna get this other train on this other track to the left here. I'm just going to pull it forward and backwards again. Um, <clears throat> normally I would park it a little bit further up the line, but we're out of pipes, and so I couldn't fill the train up. So, yeah, I'm just going to move it up the line, double check the points. It is set to go forward. Yeah. Um, I have no idea what the situation is with firewood on this. Should have some boiler pressure. Ah, it's zero. So I'm gonna press pause and we'll fix this. Okay, boiler pressure's growing, compressor pressure's growing. Enough for us to uh, just pull forward here. I'm just gonna pucker up the track. Um, Mainly because, uh, no, I'm going to park it back in this lane because there should always be ability to go down a track or two. So we're going forward and back in. Yeah, normally there's some pressure in my trains, but I mistakenly the regulator was left at eight somehow rather than zero, and so it just bled off the uh, the pressure, I think. Because uh, the compressor was on and the little regulator was on. 
Either way, she was dead in the water. Not sure if I'm over that second point yet. This this curve one, so I'm going to give it some extra space. Yeah, I'm tempted to put a third track here, another yard. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna park it in there. And then we'll go get the other train and bring it forward. Fill its box car up. This one's empty right now, right? Careful not to hit the other train. I probably do, do have too many engines here. These two trains kind of operate in this area. I probably would be better off having um, some yards down here for all this um, mix of, of rail stock. these points so we can just head out at the end. Um, we want to come in from... Yep. Yep, 85 tools, lots of tools to fill up. Since I just learnt my lesson, or I'll make sure this thing's got some plywood in it, because we do have a lot ahead of us. We'll drive into this. Alright. Corner of the yard. Get that boxcar lined up with the tools platform. Shadow is definitely going to help here. That boxcar is a nice big block. Even that gap in the middle, having it opened, that gap there in the middle is fantastic. Right. I'll load a couple and then. Uh, So you get two on the bottom, so, uh, two, 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 two across, layer, layer, layer. Takes 32. Uh, I'm going to load this up and we'll head off to the freight depot and sell all this stuff. Thirty two. Still a fifty left. All right. Let's go to the freight depot. Take it 
nice and easy. Now because we have light cars here and at the back, this is quite an unstable road. And I've derailed in this situation before, just going along straight track, so we are going to have to take it easy uh, now that the weight's kind of where it is. And bring the volume of the train down a little bit. Head out onto the main line. Taking it easy as we clear those switches. Before we know it, we'll get the freight depot. Take it easy, it's a really valuable load. I don't want to be derailing it now. Switches look good. We did the map, we're just going up that left hand side of the uh, dual track. Pretty simple run from the iron line up to the pit depot. This is the area where I've been out before with these unstable roads. Taking easy. I'm kind of glad that when something derails, you don't um, lose the load. You just derails as it goes back on the track. It'd be terrible if the uh, cargo got lost on the ground. The yard straight ahead here, kind of cuts between uh, the sawmill and the southern part of the map directly. It's a really big flat area. So, all of, all, all of the um, YouTubers I've seen with the mega yards um, tend to put it up in there. I feel like I should be doing this with Betsy. Just to honor how good she is at the start of the game. She's still very OP. The you know, traction ratio is amazing. I've never followed with a Heisler or a Climax. Uh, mainly because most of my lines are well, under 3 degrees, but they're very, very rarely shortly at 4 degrees. So I haven't really needed the horsepower. And the class 70 basically is the same as those just from a horsepower point of view, but also has the speed. So um, really, it's it's been the workhorse. It does mean that the curves have to be much broader. The Heisler and the Climax could you know, turn some much steeper corners compared to the class 70. That might be uh, something I'll try with in the future. I might buy one of those two and, and see what it can do. Oh, is it? wobble there. I'm not convinced that the physics hasn't changed recently. Um, yeah. Well, we're there anyway. 
Yeah, I saw a comment on the Discord about how uh, if you stretch segments of rails up to the absolute limit, it can cause some um, some weird artifacts. It's like there's a micro gap between the rails or something, or a micro overlap. Nice bell as we go into the freight depot yard. Yeah, that's uh, what it takes to um, get barrels and sell the residual tools. Uh, there is some lumber to be sold still from a balance point of view, but uh, it's good to have barrels and tools finally done. Let's uh, just ease it down, slow it down. One last whistle. And uh, let's uh, unload this. I'm gonna. Uh, I think I might drop a save game just for good old sake. We'll call it number ten as the game ends. I think we should unload the tools first. So from a money point of view, I don't know if I've shown this. We currently have twelve thousand dollars. Let's uh, unload thirty-two of these. They're uh, twenty bucks each. Unloads it in rows. Alright. And the same thing with the core barrels. And a beautiful $40 each. It's about for a 30 set. I mean, the coal mine run is basically the limiting factor where it, I'm currently kind of using 30 as the unit. So, two, I mean, you get two oil barrels out of a unit. So, for 60 or a 30 set, from a time point of view, I think it's about three hours. By the time that you uh, do all those loops um, and fill things up, now some of those loops give you more than one set. There we go. Cool four-ish thousand dollars and some good experience points. Yeah, I think it's, um, with all those loops, I think it ends up being about three or four hours to do a loop, which is a fair bit for 30 units, but it's definitely an enjoyable set. So uh, yeah, so th thanks for joining me in this series. We'll leave it there. Uh, this guy's future is to go back up to the sawmill, get parked, and everything uh, finishes from there, that's, that's, that is the loop. Um, if you want to see more of this content, uh, maybe I'll redo it again when summer returns. Uh, put a comment down in the comments and we'll see what we can do. And once again, thanks for watching and uh, have a great day.